Hey orchestra students, welcome to lesson 26. Today you need your book and your instrument and today the cellists are going to be learning the note names and fingerings on the C string which is our lowest thickest string. The violinists are going to be reviewing some notes on the G and D strings today while the cellists learn something new and then everybody's going to be playing the C major scale and something called the C arpeggio. So take a minute, gather what you need, your books open to page 36, and regroup when you're ready. Please check in the timestamps to see when your lesson segment begins. Hi cellists, please have your books open to page 36. Today we're learning notes on the C string. The C string is your lowest string, it's the thickest and heaviest string, so it requires the most muscle from your right arm in order to engage the string and make your best sound. So don't be surprised if when you're first bowing on the C string it sounds a little warbly or a little bit unclear. It's totally normal that it takes a little time to get used to the amount of weight and speed that needs to go into your bow. Your bow will need to feel heavier and sink more into the strings than it has on any of the other strings in order to produce a beautiful and resonant sound. Let's start by looking at the picture at the top of the page. It shows us that F is played with four fingers on the C string. The note name F on the C string is performed like this, with four fingers. The note name E is performed with three fingers, so I just lift up my pinky. Three fingers is E. And D is one finger, your first finger on the C string, and then after that would be zero, would be your open C. Let's do a run through of number 144 through 147 where we're practicing these new notes in isolation. And then I'll give you some time to pause and practice. So first up, number 144, it's your open C only. One, two, open C, go. Next up, number 145, it's called Let's Read F. Recall that F is played with your four fingers on the C string. There's going to be some surprise notes here. There might be an open C snuck in. Number 145, ready, set, 145, go. Notice that I kept my four fingers really close to the C string even while I was hovering up and playing my open C. Next, number 146 is called Let's Read E. Look out for any sneaky other notes, notes other than E. Start with your three fingers on the C string. Ready, set, 146, and go. shake it off. Last one is going to be number 147. It's called Let's Read D. It is not going to be your open D. It is a D located on the C string, performed by your first finger. Look out for any sneaky notes other than the first finger on the C string. Ready, set, 147, go. hand and shake it off. So recall, on the C string we need a good amount of weight in our arm in order to engage with the string. It's normal if you're not getting a very beautiful pure sound at first. We're going to build up the ability to sink into the string with a heavy arm. F is played with your four fingers, E is played with your three fingers, D is played your first finger, and open C is, of course, no fingers. So please pause and practice on your own number 144 through number 147 and regroup when you're ready to learn the scale and arpeggio set starting on open C.
Next up, we're moving on to page 37, and we're going to be learning about arpeggios. An arpeggio is when we play the first, third, fifth, and last, or eighth, note of any given scale set. Remember that a scale is when we start on one letter name and we climb up like a ladder or a staircase up to the matching higher version of that letter name, and we don't skip any pitches in between. Like we played our D scale, for example, D to D. Today we're going to play a C scale, starting on your open C and ending with your four fingers on the G string. And then we're going to play a C arpeggio. Let's start with just the scale. Look at number 153. And you're going to stop when you get to the bracket that says arpeggio. We'll pause there. Starting on your open C, this is what it's going to sound like. Number 153, just the scale portion. play the last C for good measure. So I want you to pause and practice just the scale portion, number one, five, three, the first one, two, three, four and a half measures. The arpeggio again is when we just isolate the first, third, fifth and last or eighth note of any given scale. So in this case, for C, it's going to be your open C. Then it's going to be E, your three fingers. Then open G. And then four, your high C. Try just that much. G. One more time, starting on open C, zero. Three on C. Open G. And then four. One more time. Four. Now let's climb back down. Open G. Three on the C string. Then open C. So we're going to take the rhythm that shows in number 153 for the arpeggio. It's going to be a half note for two counts. One, two. One, two, three. Four, two, hold, two, three, four. Let's pick up our bows and try it together. Slow, fast, fast, and then a very slow note for four counts. One, two, arpeggio, go. arpeggio one more time. I want you to hover your left hand fingers really close to the string. Ready? And arpeggio go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Go into rest position and let's shake our hands off. I'd like you to pause and practice the C arpeggio starting on your low C, your open C. And then for homework this week, you're going to make a flip grid of yourself playing just the arpeggio portion here starting on your open C. If you have any questions, please send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing your videos. Happy practicing. Hi, violin students. Today we're going to be learning the C major scale and the C arpeggio. Before we do that, we need to review some notes that we previously learned on the G string. Have your book open to page 36 and look at the um, first song, which is called Let's Read C Review. If you need to look at a picture of these fingerings, you can go back onto page 26, and that was when we first learned these notes, and it shows you a really nice picture of the left hand. If you're ready to move on, let's play together. Number 144, we take our three fingers and put them on your lowest string, the G string. And let's play it together and see what that sounds like. Number 144, let's read C. Ready? 
ready? And here we go. <laughs> Moving on to number 145, let's read F. If you need a review of this note, you can look back at page 32, which we just did in a very recent lesson video. We have to take our two fingers and have them touch. One and two touch. Second finger slides back to touch the first finger. It is not going to land on your second finger tape. Let's play number 145. It uses Fs and Cs, so you'll cross the string. Ready, and here we go. F. Ready to cross? You might want to practice that two, cross to three, and then back to two, a little bit on your own. We're going to move on to number 146. Let's read E, very familiar, our first finger on the D string. Ready, set, 146. Second finger, E. There were some sneaky little other notes in there like Fs and Cs, so look out for those. Um, last one for reviewing notes, it's going to be our open D. Let's read D. Very familiar for violinists. Look out for any sneaky other notes like C's, the third finger on the G string. Maybe some E's, first finger, and some F naturals, low two. Let's play number 147. Ready, set, and here we go. Regroup when you're ready to move on to the scale and arpeggio. We're going to move on to the scale and arpeggio. Please look at page 37 and find number 153. 153 starts as a scale pattern where we touch every note and we don't skip over any. We go from our low C all the way up to our higher version of C. Set your three fingers on the G string and be ready to play those low twos on all strings here. One, two, C scale, go. <laughs> on a nice C. So I hope you performed your second finger as a low version, half step lower than the F sharp, slide it back. There should have been no second fingers on the tape at any point there. Let's do the scale again. Third finger on the G string, ready, set, C scale, go. <laughs> I'm going to have you pause and practice, review that C scale set on your own, and come back when you're ready to learn the arpeggio. Last thing for today's lesson is learning how to play the arpeggio, first, third, fifth, and eighth notes of any given scale set when played in that order are the arpeggio. We're highlighting the most important notes of the scale. So it's going to be C, three fingers on G, then E. Then G, three fingers on the D string, and then your top octave C, which is your one and two touch on A. So you've got a bit of string crossing to do here. Let's try it pizzicato first. Three, switch strings. One, three, switch strings. One and two touch. Do that again from the bottom. Three, one, three, low two. One more time, three on G, then three, 
then one three, one and two touch. Let's go down the arpeggio, starting on your one and two touch, then three one, next string, then three. Go again from the top of the arpeggio, one and two touch on A, C, G, E, C. Let's try adding our bow and playing the whole arpeggio. One, two, C arpeggio. position. I'm going to have you pause and practice the arpeggio on your own. For homework this week, you're going to upload a Flipgrid video of yourself playing the C arpeggio, just this segment of number 153. You don't need to play me the scale this week. You're going to play me the arpeggio. Please um, let me know if you have any questions. You can always send me an email. I love to hear from you. And then I'll be giving you feedback on your Flipgrid videos as soon as I get them. Happy practice.